Let's start solving this problem by writing down a few equations that will help us along the way. First, the work done by any constant force F equals the magnitude of the force times the distance moved times cosine of the angle between those two vectors. Two forces do work on an airplane in level flight. That's the work done by the thrust and the work done by the drag. Because the plane flies at constant speed, in our case, there's no change in kinetic energy, and that means that the work done by thrust equals the negative of the work done by drag. If we draw the airplane now, with the thrust forwards and the drag backwards, we can recognize that the work done by thrust will come from the airplane's fuel. There's a fixed amount of fuel in the airplane's tank at the beginning of a journey, so the work done by thrust is a constant, where WT means the total work done by thrust on the whole journey of a distance r at a constant speed v. We can calculate the work done by thrust on the whole trip. It's minus the work done by drag. That's shown here. The force times the distance times cosine of the angle between them. And now we can solve part A, which asks us to find the speed v that maximizes the range. Because we're maximizing something, we need to take a derivative and set it equal to zero. Let's start by taking the derivative of the work done by thrust along the way with respect to v, using the product rule to get this. The work done by thrust on the whole trip is a constant, so its derivative equals zero. And we want to maximize the range with respect to the speed v, so this term goes to zero. And that means that the term in the middle must also equal zero. The problem statement gives us an expression for the drag, and the range, traveling at constant speed, is the speed v times the travel time delta t. Now we can evaluate that expression that we need set to zero, and that's shown here. Calculate the derivative of the drag force multiplied by the range r. And we need to solve for the speed v that makes this expression equal zero. So we do the algebra, solving to find that the required speed v, I'm calling it v sub mr, mr for maximum range, equals the constants beta over alpha to the one quarter power. Substitute all the values and calculate. seeing that it equals 32.9 meters per second. But the problem statement asks for the speed in kilometers per hour, so we need to do a unit conversion. That's shown here. And it works out to 118 kilometers per hour. Now let me erase some here from the upper right so we can record this value. And then erase some of the rest of this so we have room to solve part B, which asks us to find the speed v that maximizes the flight time. We'll start doing this by writing down the expression for the power, the work done per unit time. We know the work done by the thrust is the drag force times the range, r. So we can maximize the flight time, delta t, by minimizing the power. That means that we need to set dp dv equal to zero. Substituting in the expression for the drag force and the maximum range, and simplifying, we get an expression we can divide by delta t to find the power. And that's what we need to take the derivative of. That derivative is shown here, which we can then solve for the speed required for maximum time v sub mt. It works out to this, which we can notice is just one-third to the one-quarter power times the value that we got in part a. Substituting those values and calculating, we find the maximum time of flight is achieved with a speed of 89 kilometers per hour.